Welcome to the Messerschmitt 110. This is an airplane I really would not like to be in uh, if I was a German during the Battle of Britain. Why? Well, unfortunately, Goering rather overestimated the effectiveness of this aircraft. It was known as a Zerstorer or destroyer, but it didn't destroy a great deal. Uh, in fact, it was rather the other way. It was quite slow. It was not very maneuverable. It had two engines, which looked great on paper, but even hurricanes could run rings around this particular aircraft. It had a gunner in the back during the uh, Battle of Britain, but he only had one machine gun, which frankly was a bit of a pea shooter. So none of it was brilliant. What they used to do when they would go into their attack was if they were attacked by Allied fighters, they would do something out of a Hollywood movie, like when the wagon train used to put all the wagons in a circle. They would literally go nose to tail and fly around in a defensive circle. And the idea being that the front guys could cover the tail of the rear guys and so on and so forth. Well, basically that was just like, you know, dinner on a stick for uh, an RAF fighter pilot who could duck in, duck out, weave in, weave out and shoot the crap out of them, quite frankly. So they got withdrawn from frontline service, but their story is not over. No, no, because they came back to taunt and torment the Allies in this role here as a night fighter. And they had a very effective and capable radar set on board the aircraft and that gave them the ability to sneak up right underneath the bomber by radar and they had two guns positioned in the fuselage at the back pointing directly upwards and those cannons would blow a bomber apart and they never even knew the night fighter was there. So the Germans developed a highly effective night fighter system whereby they had a grid system and basically in each grid, a bit like a game of battleships, there was a night fighter waiting for you. They would vector you on using big radar and then this radar would take over and the night fighter would sneak up and blow the bomber apart. It was nasty, but war is nasty. And these were extremely effective night fighters.